Greetings, fabricators. All right, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. We're going to talk how we use a data pipeline inside of Microsoft Fabric to import data from an on-prem SQL server. Next on Tales from the Field. At the Microsoft Fabric Community Conference, this was announced, and this is something we've been waiting for for a long time. We've covered a couple different ways of how to do this. We've covered how to do this with Dataflow Gen 2. We've covered how to be able to do this with an Azure Data Factory pipeline. And now is when we complete this trifecta and we're doing it from Microsoft Fabric from data pipelines within Microsoft Fabric, pulling in on-prem data. As a quick reminder, if this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have an MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the data community for the data community. And then on Wednesday, we have another MS Tech Bits. That's where we talk about something where we are inspired by you, the community, working with a product group, or working with a customer. Well, today we're talking about data pipelines. And we're not going to talk about this very long. As a matter of fact, let's just get straight over to that great content. I'm going to start out looking at our on-premise SQL server. And I'm at my Wide World Importers Data Warehouse and my Fact Sales Table. You can see I've got 228,265 rows. So this is not massive, but we've still got a decent amount of rows that we're going to use for our import. This is what we're going to be taking from our on-prem instance and bringing into Microsoft Fabric. First thing we need to do, we need to download the standard mode Power BI data gateway, and we're going to install it. Now I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this, but I'm just doing a basic install. I'm going to install the data gateway. I have to have an account that corresponds with my Power BI tenant that we will then use to register this. Once the installation finishes, I'm going to type that account in, go ahead and click sign in. This registers our gateway. Now I'm registering this as a new gateway on this machine. I'm not adding it to a cluster or anything of that nature. And I'm going to name it exactly what it is, Brad SQL Server. And then I'm going to put a recovery key in place. This needs to be something that we remember in case you need this. And I'm going to go ahead and click configure. This takes a little while, but when it's done, our gateway is registered. Now I'm going to go up into my Power BI tenant and I'm going to click on Manage Connections and Gateways. And I'm see, there's my Brad SQL Server. It's already been created. Now I need to go over to Connections because this is where I'm actually going to create my SQL Server connection instead of doing it within my data pipeline. I click New. I'm going to pick the data cluster name, which is Brad SQL Server, and I'm going to put a connection name. Now, uh, of course, I have some fun with it. Uh, I'm using Avengers Tower as my server name, so Brad's Avengers Tower. And then I'm going to go select SQL Server. Now I'm going to put in the name, of course, Avengers Tower, because why wouldn't I name it something like this, right? I, I get to. And my Wide World Importers Data Warehouse. I'm using basic authentication. You could use Windows authentication to authenticate through. That would be more secure, but I'm going to keep this pretty simple. And I've got a user account I've created named Power BI Data Gateway, or Power BI Gateway, and a password. I'm going to set my organizational privacy level to none because this is just sample demo data that I'm utilizing, and I'm going to click Create. Now, I also need to configure something for my data lake because I'm going to need a staging account. So this is very important. You want to make sure that you've got your privacy level checked to allow this connection to use an on-premise data gateway. If it's not checked, this will cause us an error later. So this is a very important thing when we get to our staging account configuration to keep in mind. Also for the authentication method, I'm using key. It required key. So now I'm over in my Fabric workspace at my data pipeline. I'm going to put a copy data task on screen and I'm going to name it something simple, on-prem import data task. We go to the source and I'm going to click more. I'm going to then say, I want a SQL Server database because I haven't used this in any of my connections yet, I type in Avengers Tower for the server name, server name, database, wide world importers, DW, and it immediately finds the connection that we already created. Brings this in, and now it's going to let me browse the tables. This is how I know it's already connected on-prem, but I want to click Preview Data to validate. There's some of my data from my fact sales table, so I know I'm good to go. I can access that data. Now let's select our destination. I've got a worldwide importers. I must have been thinking of Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, right? Uh, but that's what I created, and that's what I'm going to use for the data warehouse. I'm going to auto-create the table. I'm going to do a DBO 
fact cells table. And then I'm going to go to settings. Now, this is where our configuration comes into place. If I click validate, you'll see it's using data store workspace. I can't do that. I've got to go to external. Once I do it, it fixes that validation error, but I need to pick my storage account. And then I'm going to navigate to a folder I've created called fabric staging. There's already some items in there because I've tested this before. Just click OK. We're good. You can see it says that this is fixed. But what I want to make sure and do is I want to validate and test this connection as well to make sure we don't have any issues. I click validate one more time, then run. Remember, if we didn't put that, uh, you can use a Power BI data gateway on our storage account, you'll have another error you need to solve. And you'll need to solve that at the connection level. So just rewind the video and you'll get the fix that we had. There's a little fabric magic. We've got our data and it's now imported into Microsoft Fabric. But let's validate this. Let's head over to our SQL Server. I'm going to connect via the SQL Analytics Sense workspace. Uh, check my Mr. Worldwide uh, Importers DW. I'm going to see my fax sales table. Uh, and let's throw this up as a side by side comparison. So that way I can get a count and also pull the data. I'm now reaching into Fabric, running as my Fabric data warehouse. And I'm going to pull this back and let's see what do I have for my count and also for my query. 22, uh, 228,265, little more fabric magic right there. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so we've got our three methods down. We've got the capability to do this via Dataflow. We've got the capability to use this in Azure Data Factory using a self-hosted integration runtime. Now we have the capability to do this via data pipelines. So we have multiple avenues to be able to import our on-premise data into Microsoft Fabric at this point in time. Do remember uh, the key to this on that staging, if you have not allowed your staging account to be able to utilize a gateway, you will get an error. The best way I found to do this is close your data pipeline, go and go to your storage account, make sure that you go to the connector that you have and your Power BI um, tenant, and then check that allow to use data gateway. Then go back into your data pipeline and begin working from there. That's why we did that early. I want to make sure we get that done as a first step. All right, sound off. Uh, what do you think? Are you excited about this? Are you excited to use data pipelines to import your on-prem data? Uh, we would love to hear from you. Please, let's keep the conversation going down in the comment. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another. Take care out there. Bye.